Hey there, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about why is it so hard to start going to the gym when you had a break or when you kind of delayed it for a few days. What makes it so damn difficult to start your diet if you've been dieting for a month or two and then you took a break? So it's a very common thing that we encounter and especially me working with over 100 clients in the last year, I've noticed that people are having a much more harder time to actually get back into it than they had when they first started out. And I've analyzed this topic, I've done my research, I've checked out what's going on, what's happening here, why are we so irrational when it comes to procrastination? Like why do we put so much pressure on ourselves when it's time to go back into something. So the way I look at it, basically here's my mindset, here's like kind of my, how my thoughts work when it comes to procrastination. I'm thinking like, if I'm gonna delay something, if I'm gonna delay from, let's say I'm about to go to the gym today, and I say, okay, fuck it, I can't do it today, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And tomorrow, I might say, okay, something came up and something really came up, like life happens, obviously you can't uh, tell life, okay, now it's time for you to shut the fuck up, I need to go to the gym, obviously that's not gonna happen, so life will always happen, and just the fact how we deal with it is basically what we can do and how we react, our attitude toward life happening. So let's say tomorrow I have to delay it for another few days, and I've experienced that it's extremely difficult to start again, especially when I've delayed for a few times. And it's kind of, my, my thought process kind of came to a conclusion that the task you delay is, is proportional in difficulties to how much you delay it, right? So if you delay something for two days, let's say from a scale of one to 10 difficulty, let's say you start at one, that means like doing it right fucking now, immediately, and then you delay it for two days, let's say the difficulty will hop on to like three or four. But if you delay it for another five days, or like let's say for a month, that difficulty will jump to nine and 10. That's simply perceived difficulty, right? The task itself, it's as easy as it ever was. But the problem is your brain, because it's wired, it's not rational always, and I just finished this book called A Predictably Rational, but uh, Dan Ariely, I definitely recommend checking out that book. Uh, but without going too far into that, basically my mindset to, to counteract this is that I've kind of brainwashed myself into thinking, okay, this task is gonna uh, be as easy as ever gonna get right fucking now. So better do it right now. And if I don't do it now, even if life happens, if something delays it for tomorrow, I'm gonna fucking do it tomorrow because at that point I'm gonna be, look, you already fucked up one day, so it may be a little bit more difficult, but it's gonna get a hell of a lot more difficult tomorrow, so better get your ass to the gym, or better get your ass on point with tracking your diet and all these good things, because it's gonna get harder and harder. So that's just kind of my mindset, putting sense of urgency on myself to get it done. Because I know without that sense of urgency, I'm always gonna be like, oh, I can delay it. But then again, in my current state, I can't predict how, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm predicting how am I gonna feel in the future about it, right? So that's the beauty of us humans. We're able to predict how we're gonna feel in the future and then act on that right now. That's pretty much why we conquered this planet, so to speak. So this mindset that I just talked about, basically getting on it immediately before it gets more difficult, it's kind of what is putting pressure on me in a good healthy way to get things done very fast and it's something that I talk a lot with my clients because everybody's having issues with this and you could apply the same thing for all areas of your life and pretty much all situations you probably realize the more that you delay stuff the more difficult it gets just in your mind I mean it's probably gonna be easy in the same way as if you've done it immediately but in your mind it's getting exponentially more difficult so if this idea resonated with you and if you feel like this helped you out, definitely leave me a comment below what you think. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel below to get more of these. And I'm talking about training, nutrition, recovery, especially mindset when it comes to dealing with these things. And I'll see you guys in the next video and peace from Vancouver, Canada.